Hello everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So, um, a lovely viewer um, requested that I do a flip of the Colouring Heaven Busy World special. So, this has been out for a while. It is issue uh, 64. Uh, it's by Anthem Publishing as are the rest of the Colouring Heaven magazines so I'm not subscribed to this but this is a special so you'd have to purchase it anyway but it is available to purchase from um, Anthem Publishing online so yeah I'm going to do the flip through of this so it's a very detailed book um, it's 40 intricate designs from Colin Thompson so um, you might realise that I've also got a bit of a cold so um, if I do need to sneeze or blow my nose do excuse that so yeah um, it's the usual A4 size that you usually get um, and yeah let's get started so we have some landscape images and some of them are actually from the um, his book which is just called Colin Thompson's colouring book but I looked on the Amazon and it d doesn't currently seem to be available so anyway this is a double page in the actual colouring book but here it's a single page of books and it's just so detailed so I, I understand that this will um, appeal to everyone um, but yeah that's that one another landscape one sorry is it a landscape one uh, yeah I think it is actually yeah it's a landscape one because the book shelf is the right way up if you do this then you've just got stairs going everywhere so yeah if you want a challenge I think this one's called this one's called the library the first one was called the bookshelf I like that they're all named this is the tree town got a border around it as well well the bottom border anyway and a bit of a border there so that is tree town uh, back to your roots another landscape some sort of the roots of a tree there there's some houses here coming off I think for some of these I have to take my magnifying glass out <laughs> Um, I do actually have one <laughs> And I do use it sometimes because I really like detailed images. And then there's ba ba Babel, Babel Tower. This one's quite nice. I like it. And of course, being grayscale, it's quite nice. Um, I'm really getting into grayscale as well now. Doors open. I've actually completed this one in the colouring book. I think it was a double page in the colouring book. But yeah, they like little windows to little worlds you know you've got a little pond there with lilies got a wolf there and the moon fish down here it's just amazing the detail moving home it's picking up a house it's called yesterday's treasure so detailed granddad's chest so some are more detailed than others like the previous one is so detailed it's it's like crazy and then this one is less detailed uh, still quite detailed but I, you know relatively I'm speaking uh, too loud so a lot of musical instruments here not just musical instruments but like you've got a, um, a tape player there from the distant past kettle someone uh, hitting one of those bell things I don't know what it's called up up and away so this is a spring you out a little bit so you can see the whole page there you go yeah this is this is not too bad to do you can imagine doing all of this in different colors like a little patchwork I was really interested in doing this one when I first got this book because this isn't new this has been out for a while but I'm just fulfilling a viewer's request because it's quite an easy request to quickly film a flip 
so yeah I was thinking of doing this I mean it would look amazing but it's so so even like this would be a mega mega challenge for me and then we have this one which is I can see our house so flying above this person there flying above with the baby there you can see all the houses from a bird's eye view come back in a little bit Uh, this is called Grandma's Treasure. So this one's not as detailed. Um, it's pretty good, this one. You've got a frog there on top of the snail. Like it's just relaxing there, having a little break. A little castle type thing. Um, the hideout. So a majority appear to be landscape so far anyway the kitchen oh that would be a nice one to do I really really like Colin Thompson's art it's just beautiful I've done this one as a double page in the colouring his colouring book which took ages but I enjoyed it so this one's Blue Willow never ending story some more books red box this is not as detailed so less of a challenge I think oh but this one's very detailed this one's our town gosh there's like loads of buildings and that would be that would take so much time but being single-sided in um, you know colouring it's called colouring heaven isn't it yeah colouring heaven uh, you can use your alcohol markers or I'd probably use um, water-based markers and fine liners because they don't bleed and they're quite accurate accurate when you put them down this one's called Christmas oh this one looks really nice the garden cupboard You could just get lost in these images. And even if you don't colour them, they're just beautiful to look at. The inventor's cupboard, mega detailed. Gosh, look at this bit here. It's just amazing. A much less detailed one. This is called armchair. With a cat on top. And there's some water flowing down oh, yeah that that one would be quite simple to do and I really like this one as well it's called bedtime story I think that's really sweet you've got the very young or quite young and very old and it's just such a sweet image that I do want to do that definitely um this one's called focus come out a bit again sorry and then another landscape one I do really like this one I've been been looking at this one to do as well and there's these books with I don't know wings or legs and they're just flying over Loads of fields, green fields it's called, which is what you'd expect. Learning to fly. My front door. My front door didn't look like that, <laughs> but it's amazing. Uh, on the case. Gosh, I remember those old videotapes, TDK. And look at what mobile phones used to look like. A packet of ready salted crisps and, and, and um, calculator. So it takes you to your past as well. Um, recipe. 
again this is an A4 so this is um, yeah fairly detailed with strange creatures on there and things so I should bring you out again to apologize for going in and out all the time there so that's that one and then back to landscape just want to get you as close as possible with it really so that you can see the images I will link this um, where you can purchase this from so Rotring Bookshelf that's the name of this one Gosh, back to, back to, back to um, the um, portrait version someone sleeping in his armchair there that's not massively detailed, that's alright, that's actually quite easy to do. And then this one, this one is one that I have pre-prepared with golden satin glazing liquid. And um, I'm hoping to get it done. Um, I'm a bit intimidated by it, to be honest. Uh, I'm just hoping that my eyesight... Um, doesn't let me down and I do a good job but yeah I did that so I can use watercolour and, and I will be using things like uh, different watercolour pencils uh, for the really fine details I'll be using water based markers so Stadler fine liners or Stabilo fine liners things like that so this was called Nora's Ark and then we've got this bed Sweet Dreams quite a simple one to do and it's back to a landscape version so this is the junkyard again a fair amount of detail on this one and then you've got towers And then tree house. Again, not massively detailed to do this one. And then upstairs. That's all for us to do. And then lastly, waterfalls. Which isn't that bad in terms of detail. And then that's the end. So, uh, I hope you like the um, flip through. And until next time, take care. Bye.